Tesla Battery Day just finished up and Elon and team announced some major changes, some major developments that are going to shape the future of sustainability and transportation. The big message overall was Terra is the new Giga. In order to achieve this future where all forms of transportation are running on zero emissions and sustainable, we need to really kind of increase the amount of output of battery cells and thus battery day. So there are a lot of different ways that Tesla's trying to go about this. The first is cell design. Tesla is updating their cell design to a new form factor and it doesn't have a tab. All of these things equal a 5X increase in energy, a 16% increase in range for the vehicles just from the cell alone, and a six times power increase. This also leads to a 14% reduction in the price per kilowatt hour, one of the key metrics in really kind of making these electric cars more sustainable and more affordable for everyone. They're also looking at changing how these cells are made by making them themselves in-house. And in doing so, they're able to increase efficiency and really just kind of streamline this entire process from raw materials to batteries. Part of this includes the dry electro technology that they acquired from Maxwell not too long ago. This leads to a 10x decrease in footprint, meaning less space in order to actually produce the same amount of energy. And it also requires 10 times less energy to produce the cell making the whole process more sustainable. As part of the cell factory, they're also going to be updating their assembly line. Now, one line will be able to produce 20 gigawatt hours, which is a 7x increase over the current processes. And Tesla really aims here to be the best at manufacturing of any company on Earth. Elon even went so far as to say, Eventually, every, every car company will have long-range electric cars. Um, I, you know, eventually, every company will have autonomy I think, but not every company will be uh, great at, at manufacturing. Uh, Tesla will be absolutely head and shoulders above anyone else in manufacturing. That is our goal. This is largely because they can vertically integrate how everything works, meaning they can design you know, every step of the way. Whereas when you have a lot of third party suppliers and vendors and people doing other bits, those companies have to design for not just you, but anyone else, any other type of chemistry for cells, any other type of thing going on. But when you do it, you can specifically just eliminate anything that is not directly valuable to your product. Process. They've also updated the power electronics. That means that they can now make a terawatt hour of energy in less space than it takes a 150 gigawatt hours, which is what the current Gigafactory in Nevada is set up to be. And the overall plan with energy production is 100 gigawatt hours by 2022 and three terawatt hours by 2030 per year. That means that they're going to be making just huge amounts of cells to be used in cars and everywhere else that you might need them. Tesla is also doing some updates to the anode and the cathode, the kind of raw elements inside of the cells. These will lead to increases in vehicle range and reduction of wastewater and a few other things to make it more of a sustainable process, including eliminating cobalt entirely and going with a pure nickel cathode, which is great news from a human rights standpoint. And Tesla also took it a step further by updating how the cells are integrated into the car by making them a part of the structure. The analogy was how in the airline industry, they used to have a fuel tank inside of the wing until they realized they could just make the wing the fuel tank. And so same idea here with the battery cells, except it's even better because the cells are you know rigid and strong. They're not liquid. So what that means is that there's going to be fewer pieces and more space for more cells, more energy, more range, all the kind of things you need in a good electric vehicle. So overall, this leads to a 56% decrease in cost per kilowatt hour, a 54% increase in range in cars and energy products, a 69% reduction in per gigawatt hour cost. And Elon did say that this will be one to three years out before they can really kind of realize some of these benefits. And then overall, they're just going to continue to iterate and make this process better, reducing the price overall of their vehicles and increasing the output. And speaking of reducing the cost of their vehicles, Tesla did announce that they are going to be making a $25,000 electric vehicle within the next couple of years. 
this was one of the most exciting moments I feel from the entire thing. And it kind of goes back to that sketch that we saw at the China factory unveiling a while ago, where there was this kind of two door coupe looking thing. I'm really excited about this. I hope to see it in the future because as cool as it is to have these really fast, really long range cars, I think what the world honestly needs is just cheaper electric cars because that's where the bulk of cars are. They're on the cheaper end, they're not on the high end. But for you folks that can afford it and do want the longer range, the faster, the sexier, all the things, we now have details on the Tesla Model S Plaid Edition. So reading from the website here, we're looking at a price for the tri-motor all-wheel drive Plaid Model S of $139,990, just under $140,000 before any tax breaks or any of those kind of things. Then you have a 520 plus mile range, just beating out the Lucid Air, a 200 mile per hour top speed, because we all need that, and under two seconds zero to 60 time. That is right where the Tesla Roadster is supposed to be, so you know that the Roadster is gonna be even quicker. Wow, what is going on? Electric cars are just ruling and dominating in every performance aspect. And with that, they also posted a 130.3 Laguna Seca lap time. That is insane. That is that is like 18 seconds faster than the previous Tesla record. So we're talking major, major performance improvements with the Plaid Model S. Yes, it's a lot more expensive, but you know, that's what it takes. It costs more money when you want more stuff. So I'm really excited about this. You can order this now on the Tesla website. So go for it if you can. I think the referral code still works. Maybe, maybe not. And they said that they should be able to deliver this before the end of next year. That remains to be seen. Remember, it's still been almost three years since they unveiled the Roadster. Don't really know what's going on there. But regardless of that, I'm so happy that we finally have details on this car because I think it is just really exciting to see Tesla kind of reclaim that crown that was theirs for so long until Lucid kind of knocked them off with their latest edition, which had just some unreal and amazing specs that they were putting out there. And if you want to see more about that car, check out the video I did where I got to see the Lucid Air up close and personal and even speak with the team just recently when they unveiled it. So good stuff and I'm excited about that. But if you're new here, thanks again for visiting. Subscribe down below, like, share, comment, leave me your thoughts, all the things. As always, don't forget, when you free the data, your mind will follow. I'll see you guys back here in the next one.